Hi, I'm Zag with Box Alarm Trading. And what do you think has a better return? One H2 box that costs 99 or three blaster boxes that cost 90? Today, we're gonna find out. In the description below, we have time codes. So you can check those out and skip ahead to whatever you want. Uh, we also have our social links in the description. So you can give us a follow. We can chat it up about fights. We can chat it up about the hobby. And as usual, if you find these videos helpful, please go ahead and give us a like and subscribe so you can get future content like this. So as the title suggests, this video is basically going to be, if you had $100, what would you rather buy? Would you rather buy one H2 box or would you rather buy three blaster boxes? So we're going to compare each of those and then we will also show you our hits and you know, you can kind of infer what you want based on our experience. So before we show you all the hits that we got with ours, we're gonna compare two things with these products. We're gonna compare the amount of cards in each box, and we're also going to compare the exclusive hits that you can get from each box. All right, so we'll start with the big dog. We'll start with the H2, which is $99. So with the $99 H2, you get four packs per box, six cards per pack. And on average, you're gonna get six parallel prisms per box. So one select blaster costs $29.99 and you're basically going to flip those numbers from the H2. So you get six packs per box and they are four cards per packs. Uh, with the H2, you get up to six parallel prisms or six inserts. So it's kind of a combination with the insert and with the prism. It's not just strictly one or the other. So with the H2, it's going to be all about the disco. You got the silver prism, you're gonna have red prism at a 99, you got the blue prism at a 49, you got the gold prism at a 10, and then you got the green prism at a five, and the big hitter, Black Disco 101. So with the blasters, of course, the exclusives are gonna be different. So you got the base mezzanine, and th those go all the way numbered to one. You have the elephant, you have the tiger, and then you have a couple different flash parallels. You got the orange flash, which is kind of like the, the base refractor. And then you have the gold flash to 10, and then you have the black flash to one, the big hitter, one on one. So that's just a little kind of product info and a breakdown of the two. Uh, obviously you could choose what is a better product based on just the look of the cards. What do you think looks better? What's a better design? Do you like the discos? Do you like the tiger, the elephant, the, the flashes? And, or do you want inserts because the blaster is going to give you a lot more inserts than the H2. So you can kind of differentiate which product is going to be a best fit for you based on that. Or you can go based on the price of the product and how many cards you get. So since we went down all the stats and all the numbers, now we'll show you all what we got out of those two products. Anna Watterson Silver Concourse. All right, so that's our first octagon side. <laughs> Nice. That's cool. Let's yeah, see. Are these numbered? 249. Oh, nice. Very cool. All right, man. The big one, man. He's, he, and we're selling that ASAP. So <laughs> if you want Patty, if you want, you, 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 come, you come find us, kid. Because I don't know. I, I don't think he's going to be anything special in the future. Frankie Edgar. Uh, Carol Rosa Prism Disco. She loves us. Oh, we got a red in the back. Red Disco. I saw who it was. Viewers at home, did you see who it was? It's our boy Frankie Edgar. We just pulled him. He's back again <laughs> for the red, and that's numbered. Two ninety nine. The Frankie Edgar two ninety nine. That's a cool three retail uh, select blasters. So we got a ton of rookies. Not gonna go through all those just because this video is already two hours long. Um, we did get three sweet flash global icons. This is a set that I love with these flags in the background. I think one more, and then we'll go through all the parallels. Uh, Nganu silver. Gilbert Burns, Mezzanine. So we got two Mezzanines. So these are, we're going to say they're just as rare as the Octagon sides. Yeah, the odds seem to be the same. Yep, for for this box anyway. Nice uh, Rookie Silver, Bontarine. We got the Masvidal Prism Octagon side. We got the base Derek Lewis Octagon side. Uh, Matthias Nicolau, Rookie Blue Prism. Premier Level, Joel Alvarez, Rookie. We got the Moises uh, Rookie, and this is the Orange Flash right here. Not numbered. Just a different orange parallel. Rookie, uh, Grant Dawson, rookie, Michelle Watterson, Juliana Pena, Mackenzie Dern. And this is the tricolor. We got the rookie tricolor, Corey McKenna. So it's it's a different look with the blaster uh, than the look would be on the actual select hobby or even the H2. 
Got two of those. We got a Tom Aspinall. Hope your knee gets better, Tom. Got a sweet Umar rookie flash orange. Really nice shine. Our boy Patty, the baddie. Got a rookie prism of his. It's a nice looking card. And the, big hitter. the one and only, the big hitter. Boom! I was going to do her pose. I <laughs> go, go, go. All right, side, <laughs> by, side by side. All right, so y'all saw what we got with the two boxes. What do you think was a better product? Was it the H2? Or was it the three blasters? What would you rather get? Our consensus at Box Alarm Trading was the three blasters was better value and more fun to open. And the reasoning for that was uh, multiple things. One, we got way more cards with the blasters. Uh, I really like the global icons insert and we got a lot of those as well Which was cool to try to help complete the set as well as I really like the elephant and the tiger parallels I think those are really cool looking cards really nice design Even though we didn't pull any of those as y'all saw it would still be fun uh, If we do buy more in the future to see those in person. I did love the blue disco Volk that we pulled Great looking card awesome design. It looks really slick in person, but Overall, I think I enjoyed the blasters a little more. So if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe. We're gonna have future videos just like this out for y'all soon. Uh, we have a rookie class video coming out. We have a prism video coming out and we still have one 2022 UFC select to open as well. So go ahead, give us a like and subscribe. Thanks again for coming and hanging with us and see ya.